Yay. Okay. So the first card I chose was one that we've had before. And it's, uh, I took my glasses off, so I can't read backwards. But here's the picture of the snake. And it says, I shed habits that hinder my truth. I release and renew. And that is the transformational energy that is embodied and um, gifted to the snake as he sheds his skin. So I shed habits that hinder my truth. I release and renew. And then I chose another card. And this is the Eagle Woman. And it says, I welcome clear vision and inspired action. And I love these two together because I feel like you can't, you can't move forward if you're still holding on to the past and to let go of that, which is holding you back in some way. And that can be lots and lots of things in personal life, professional life. And to move forward, I welcome clear vision and inspired action. So I love that. Let me place them here. And the Ouroboros, the eight. Yeah, the infinity, right, of the snake eating its own tail and transforming. So just as you're coming in, um, I sent an email, hopefully you saw it, that this will be our last Monday. And starting on June 1st, we'll go to our summer schedule, which is you know, most of you know, I don't I haven't taught in the summer for probably like three or four years now. But this is, you know, different. We're at home, not much going on. We're not going to be hitting the road. And even if we do, now we're on Zoom. So anywhere we can do these classes. Yay, welcome. Yay, okay. Great. So just give you a moment to settle and to take your seat and welcome yourself to your practice. I'm going to start to take a few breaths and just feel yourself present <clears throat> here. <coughs> That's all good, my friend. Okay, I turn this a little bit so you can see my baby. All right, so yay. 601, I love it. Come on in. Well, just as you're starting to come in, let's do this. Take your hands together, interlace your fingers, and inhale and reach up nice and tall. And as you exhale, just shifting a little bit side to side. Of course, inhaling as you need to. Even moving front to back. You circle a little bit. Just Check in with, oh, what's happening in the upper back and the shoulders and the breath. Good. And then we can reach up and release your hands. Grab hold of your opposite elbows. And do the same thing. Just rock a little bit side to side, front to back. And then those of you just coming in, just take your time. Just move a little bit. Good. And then as you inhale, we'll reach up and just take a moment, circle your wrists, wiggle your fingers, breathe here. Keep your arms lifted, but drop your shoulders, lift up through the sides of your waist. You feel as you lift up, there's this downward energy pressing down. Good. Let's take these arms out to like this quarter place. And then I'm just going to drop one hand. You're going to take the fingers in, keep the thumbs lifted. And just reach up and then you you're going to play with how things feel so if you take the thumbs and you turn them back a little bit like you're hitchhiking does that open your shoulders and then smile and hold this for five breaths that's five of my breaths <clears throat> notice which fingers want to kind of come out of the fist and kind of work them back in open the thumbs breathe feel this energy Know, maybe the arms start to get tired and you smile and breathe. Yes. And one more of my breath, full inhale. And as you exhale, just release your hands. Let your hands settle on your thighs for a moment, palms down or up. And start to close your eyes here. And just feeling that little bit of movement into even the heart beating the refreshing. And 
and and then releasing your hands to the earth and as you inhale circle nice and wide reach up and as you exhale touch the palms together bring them down with great reverence to rest in front of your heart and then inhale lengthen tall and exhale bow your chin as you bow down to all that you are I shed habits that hinder my truth. I release and renew. I welcome clear vision and inspired action. I'm just feeling your breath, hearing your breath, being with your breath. And smiling as you welcome yourself to your mat. Taking a nice inhale, lengthen tall, hold the breath at the top, release the shoulders, smile, take in more air, pause here, and slowly exhale your breath. Take an inhale and exhale. And then inhale fully right to the top once again. Drop the shoulders, lift yourself tall, take in more air. And exhale. And take a normal breath in and out. And then we open practice with the primordial sound of Om. It is said this is the sound that is found within all living things. It is the breath of the ocean and the breath of the trees. And today we, for every class, we open with an ohm. Settle those vibrations inside. Inhale. Oh. Oh. chin and with reverence feel yourself here release your hands to your thighs lift your chin and open your eyes I'm going to start you off on your backs so as you come down you might grab um, a block or a bolster take it with you have it beside you and you could put something down to lie on as well a blanket and then just coming down onto your back and take a few breaths there once you get there. Just letting yourself be as if you're starting in Shavasana almost. <laughs> just feeling what's happening in your inner world, the quality of your breath. And as you feel ready, you'll bring your hands together over your heart and you're gonna opposite interlace your fingers, flip your palms, reach your arms over your head like we did at the very beginning. Stretch your legs a little. Me. Press in, if you have a wall there, you can grab opposite elbows instead. Just extending yourself really long. You can stay like that for a full breath in and out. And then we'll release the clasp of the hands and we're gonna to start to circle the wrists and add the circling of the ankles. And just dancing your ankles and your wrists in whatever way feels good, adding the fingers if you can. And just opening the hands nice and wide. You might even start to make figure eights with your hands a little bit. Just feeling in, let your breath go, your shoulders drop even smiling and just take two more breaths keep it going even if you're starting to feel a little fatigued just keep turning and 
circling ankles and wrists. And then, you know, inhale, maybe you stretch the hands, flex the feet. And as you exhale, rest, you can bring your arms down by your sides. Maybe your hands want to go onto your body. That's great too. And then just again, feel your presence here, your body. And nice. And then, oh, oh, pardon me. <laughs> You're gonna bend your knees and place your feet on the floor. And then just really place the feet mindfully. Yes, with your feet on the floor. Now lift your heels up. And just anchor the toes into the floor, the balls of the feet. And then as you exhale, let the heels come down. And as you inhale, lift the soles of the feet up and keep the heels on the floor. And you press the heels down. And as you exhale or whichever breath, spread your feet out. See if maybe you can like almost like you want to make them longer. And then once they come down, keep the soles of the feet on the floor, but lift all 10 toes up and anchor your feet into the earth. Yes. And, and then inhale as you are, lift the toes, and exhale, let the toes come down. Good. And heel toe your feet a little bit further apart. And we're gonna to come to windshield wiper. So you'll just rock your knees side to side. And a couple times and just enjoying that. I'm just feeling into whatever's coming up. This is a little bit of a back release. Yes. And then maybe you start to make this a little deeper. So as the knees drop to one side, the feet push down and away, and the back lifts up. And you just do that a few times. Just feeling this very simple, not complicated, but super therapeutic action. Yes. I'm breathing. Feeling your hips move, whatever's talking to you, even here. And then placing the soles of the feet on the floor and just keeping the feet far apart, exactly as they are, just bring the knees together. Pigeon toe your feet a little bit. And just drop into your breath. Yes. And take a nice breath in. Release it through your mouth. And we're gonna keep the feet that distance. Take the knees apart. And now you're just gonna move just the right knee. So as you inhale, maybe the knee stays there. And as you exhale, you drop that knee out to the right. Yeah, and you feel free to walk your foot out too. Adjust your stance. And then inhale, lift the knee up. And exhale, now drop this knee to the inside of the left foot. It might even go all the way. And then just do that a few times, just opening just the right side out and bringing it back in and down. So the left leg might move a little bit, but it's pretty much static. Yes. Good. And the next time, so let's do one more full in and out. And then you'll go out. And then the next time you bring that knee inside, leave it there. And as it comes down, now you take the left knee and you just cross it over. Did I say that wrong? No. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Keep no. the sole of the foot on the floor yeah. Yeah. and just bring the knee over to cross oh. the inside of the right knee. So the feet are still on the floor. You've brought the right knee down to the inside of the left leg or down by the foot. And now you're going to cross that left knee just over, just so you're like almost crunching your hips. So the feet are still on the floor. You're just drawing that left knee as if it's like wants to like come on top of the right knee. Yeah, and then you can release that. Maybe you need to windshield wiper a little bit. And then we're gonna come back when you're ready with the soles of the feet on the floor. Good. And then once you're there, staying with your breath. So you inhale exactly as you are. And as you exhale, you drop the left knee out to the left. When you inhale, bring it up. And exhale, left knee to the inside of the right leg or towards the right, inside of the right foot. Yeah. And then just moving with your breath. So it might be that slow or you might just inhale it out and exhale it in. But you're moving with your breath. Just feel that. And 
And then the next time that left knee now drops to the inside of the right leg, the right foot stays on the floor and you just cross that right knee over. Maybe it's gonna go right on top and maybe not. Maybe just the knees are together. Good. And then release. <laughs> And as you come out, you might go to windshield wiper again. This is like the magic eraser. This brings it all back. Good. Okay. And then we'll bring the knees back up into this basic resting pose. So the feet are wide, the knees come together. You, you can move the heels out like you're pigeon toed a little bit. And just take a few breaths here. Okay, and then feel your feet on the floor. Maybe you can lift your 10 toes up. That's gonna anchor the parts of your feet that are meant to be on the earth down. And then you're gonna feel that the feet are connected, the knees are together, and you're just gonna press that right knee as if it wants to go to the back of your mat. So it's just gonna slide forward a little bit. Yeah, and then you bring it back and you push the left knee forward. So it's not a huge movement. But the knees are just moving. They're still in towards each other. One is just moving forward. So I say knees moving, but you can feel what's really moving. It's your hips. Yeah, and so you're just moving this, these knees a couple times here. Feel the hips move. Yes. And then you're welcome to release that and come back to the magic eraser, your windshield wiper, or just rest into that and, and feel what's coming up and, so I think about this, I shed habits that hinder my truth and Hart and I were, you know, I've told this story and I know so a lot of you've heard it. But at the very beginning when Hart first started practicing and I'd put him in child's pose and be like, my knees don't bend that way. And it was a belief, yeah. right? But yeah. you know, you shed that habit or a belief and move into something new. Right? I welcome clear vision and inspired action. Okay, from here, my friends, we're gonna drop into Baddha Konasana and that's the soles of the feet together, knees open. And you're just, we're just gonna be here for a little bit, so you don't need to pad up. What I want you to do is maybe start to rock your knees and your hips, and just get a little playful, just moving yourself in some way here that you haven't done yet today, maybe. Just kind of feeling in to whatever's up and, and here. And then we're gonna do this for another two breaths, and you could just make it still, and just be in your stillness, or keep moving. And then as you're ready, you'll bring the knees back up. And this time we're gonna bring the knees into your chest. And you're welcome to take your hands up and grab hold. And <clears throat> maybe you wanna rock a little bit side to side or circle your knees. All right, we'll just make it very lovely. We'll close your eyes, release your breath. And just feel yourself massaging your back here in this lovely way. And then we're gonna rest into this pose. It's called Pavana Muktasana is the name of this pose. It's pretty much child's pose on your back. And then you're just gonna hug the knees in. And some of you might wrap your arms around your knees. You might grab opposite elbows or forearms or interlace your fingers and whatever you've got here. Bring the knees in. And then I want you to relax. You soften your eyes, the back of your head, your jaw, the back of your heart. And the belly, when the belly starts to drop, then we, we're in it. We just let everything go, but the hands are still holding the knees, you know, that they're working a little bit. You drop your shoulders even. And we're gonna just take a few more breaths here, just being in the discomfort or, you know, whatever this is for you, whatever's experience it is, and, in. Okay, and then you can release, let your feet come to the floor. If your legs want to go straight, they can, and you can also magic erase it with your windshield wiper. And just take a few moments to just feel. Yes. In. That's it. Okay. And then as you're ready, if you have your legs stretched out, re-bend them. See if you can do your non-dominant leg first. 
and then your dominant leg. And then you'll set your feet on the floor. Good. Okay, and then walk your feet in a little closer to your hips. You might even lift the heels up and walk the toes in. Ganesh, oh, thank you. And then take your arms down by your sides. We're gonna come up to a little bridge. So you might keep the arms down by your side. You might bend at the elbows and have the palms facing each other. And when you bend at the elbows, so the fingers are pointing up to the sky, elbows and upper arms are on the floor, then you can anchor the upper arms into the floor, the shoulders into the floor, the back of the head into the floor. Good, and then be here as you inhale, maybe you arch your back a little bit. And as you exhale, press your belly down, tailbone lifts, press the feet into the floor, lift your hips up. And then you can anchor those upper arms, push down, breathe here. Extend your tail to your knees, breathe, and then exhale and slowly release. And then pause for a breath. And as you inhale, you'll arch your back. Then as you exhale, press the belly into the floor, the tailbone lifts, rise up. Extend the knees, the tailbone to the knees. Yes, and then some of you here might take your hands behind your, or underneath you and interlace your fingers together. Then you extend the hands as if you make them nice and long, anchor the upper arms, all fine, you don't have to do that. And then you'll release the hands if you've interlaced them and exhale, everybody lower down. And then pause for a breath or two. Yes. Okay, we're gonna do it again. This time maybe you take your arms over your head if that's okay and you have space or you're welcome to do any variation. You inhale, arch your back and exhale. Press the belly down, rise up through the power of your feet, your shoulders, even the back of your head. And then see if maybe you can like even lift up a little higher. Reach your arms, if they're over your head, reach. And then exhale and slowly lower yourself all the way down and, and then as you come down we're going to take a few moments to just be so you're welcome to stretch the legs out or windshield wiper or just rest in the basic resting pose yes great okay so we're going to do some lying down twisting and so I tell you that right now, if you want to bring a bolster in to this party or a blanket, then we can start by laying that on the left hand side of you. And so if you're using your bolster, then it would line up with your, the top of the bolster at the top of your hip, and then it will just come down along the outside of the left leg. Yeah. Good. And then from here, we're going to bring the right knee into your chest. You'll interlace the fingers. Yes. Good. And then just hug this knee into your chest, extend through your left leg and breathe. Notice any tension in your shoulders, your face. In the same kind of principle, we're letting the belly drop as you hug this in. Feel free to move your feet around, you can point and flex or circle your feet. You know, it's just a chance to grab some extra stuff Good. yes okay and then from here my friends we're just going to rock this knee in and out so your hands stay interlaced you just move the knee over to the left and over to the right just you know we've already kind of moved these hips around but be here Good. and then we'll hug this knee in We'll just add a little bit of extra core here. So you draw your belly in and up, lift your head and chest up. Bring this knee into your forehead or your lips and then hold it there. See if you can soften your shoulders, smile. Draw your belly in and exhale. Lower yourself down. Good, okay, let's release that leg. Let it come down, just keep it bent. Good. And now bring the left knee into your chest. Opposite, interlace the fingers. And then slide the right leg along the floor if that's there for you. Good. And breathing here, same thing. Just hug it in, soften. You with your breath. Good. 
That's it. Just releasing. Feel free to move your ankles. And and then we'll start to just rock this knee side to side. Just moving consciously, connectively. Yes. Yes. Good. And then bringing the knee into your center. Draw your belly in and up. Lift your head and chest up towards that knee. And then soften your shoulders, smile, draw the belly in. Again, be here. And exhale, release. Then you can set the foot on the floor. Good. And then we'll take a moment to just be, just feel. Good. Okay. In. And then from here, we'll bend the knees, feet to the floor, and you'll bring both knees, maybe you bring, bring them both into your chest, or you can keep the feet on the floor. So from here, we're going to drop both knees over to the left, so you can open your arms out to the side, take the knees over to the left side, and if you have a bolster blanket, it's going to rest on there. And, and then arms are open, turning your head to the right. And then you can play with the position of your legs. They might move up a little bit. They might need to move down. And just be with the flow of your breath here. So if you have your bolster there, it might go between the knees even. If that's better for you, you know, you play and figure it out, whatever's right. And Okay, so before we leave this side, then you're now you're going to take your right hand and put the thumb into that right hip crease. So right, that's the hip that's facing up to the sky. And you're just going to press this hip away from you. Just see if there's like room. Can you move it away a little bit? And then once you kind of felt into that, now you're going to take your right arm up and alongside your ear, if there's room. <laughs> And then once you reach that right arm away, you're going to reach the right hip away. You just do that internally. Push the right hip to the back of your mat. Reach the right arm. Like you're just stretching, waking up. Feel that. And then as you exhale, release. Take the right arm back out. Turn your palms to face down. Draw your belly in and inhale, lift the knees up. If you use the bolster, you might put your feet on the floor, take the bolster to the other side. Exhale, the knees to the right. And as the knees come down, arms are open. You can turn your head to the left. And adjusting anything you need. Being with your breath. You know, these twists are pretty powerful. It's also not a complicated pose. You know, there's not a lot to do. You know, this is something most of us can do. But it's the flow of the breath that gets changed. And just feeling into that. And just dropping the left shoulder. And now taking your left hand, putting that thumb into your left hip crease, and just pushing that away. It might even be the top of the thigh, you know, whatever's easier. Just see, can you make a little space? Just using your hand. And then once you kind of feel into that, then you can take that left arm up and alongside your ear. If you touch the wall, you get to push in. And then extending that left hip away from you. It's opening up the left side of your body with your breath and your energetic actions. Great. And then releasing that and you can open your arms back out. And we're going to turn the palms down. And then you'll inhale, bring the knees back up. And we've done this a little bit in some other classes. You turn your palms down. You're going to use your abdominals and just rock the knees side to side. So that might be, you know, your feet might stay on the floor if you have a lot of back stuff. Otherwise, you're using your abdominals. You're flexing your feet. 
The knees are gonna try and stay together as best as they can. And you're literally twisting yourself side to side. Good. And smiling because there's nothing else to do <laughs> but smile and feel that. Good. And so knowing whichever side you started on, you get to end on the other side, and then you'll come back to center, set your feet on the floor, and then you can adjust yourself. Maybe you've moved around on your mat, and then take a few moments here, either basic resting pose, legs stretched out, or windshield wiper. And just really be here. Feel yourself, what has changed, this refreshing we've offered ourselves. So, you know, I feel like when we do these like twists and stuff, twists and turns, you know, it reminds me of the snake, or this, the way a snake moves. Twists and turns. So this is refreshing. We are refreshing ourselves. And like, twists and turns, just like that. Good, okay. So we're gonna deepen the twist a little bit. So from here, you're gonna bend your knees, place your feet on the floor. Good, okay. So we're gonna take the right leg, actually heel toe your feet right together so they're touching. And then lift your right leg up in the air. Ta -da! And then cross the right knee over the left knee. Right knee over knee, as close as you can if you can get them together. And they might come apart, it's all fine. Now you're gonna push the left foot into the floor, lift your hips, shift your hips to the left. Yeah, and then put them down. And then you take this leg package over to the right. So if you used a bolster or something, maybe it's still over to the right. Okay, then as you come down here, your legs might wanna come apart. That's fine, you know, you might totally unwrap, but some of you might even be able to wrap a little bit deeper. And you're using that left leg to kind of anchor the right leg. Okay, then you can add that hip, the left hip. Your arms can be out, they can be above, they can be resting on you. You're smiling and breathing. And this is a twist to refresh the back, the low back. Good. And then you may unfurl your legs and bring your feet back down. Readjust your hips and take a moment to feel. Good. And then knowing the second side, so if you used a bolster, you might roll it over, put it back onto the left side. Good. And then soles of the feet to the floor, heel toe your feet together, lift the left leg up in the air, da -da, and then cross left knee over right knee. And then you press the right foot into the floor, lift your hips, shift the hips to the right, put them down, and drop this knee package over to the left adjusting whatever you need, you know, two sides can be very different. Breathing here, okay, if you can anchor the right, sorry, the left leg on top of the right this time, anchor it, you might even flex your feet, you can press that hip away, your arms can be stretching out or up or resting on your body, and breathing. And then we can release that. So you can unfurl your legs, put the feet on the floor. Good. And then pause again, just feel. Okay, so we're gonna come into a pelvic hammock. So that is feet are on the floor, knees are bent. And you can walk your feet in a little bit towards your hips. They can be hip distance apart, so they're not super wide. But you know, you'll know once you get in there. So you feel the feet on the floor. Let's do what we did at the very beginning. Let's um, press the balls of the feet down, lift the heels up, you know, anchor the toes, and then exhale, set the feet down, and press the heels down, inhale, lift the soles of the feet up with the heels into the earth, and then imagine you can spread your feet as you place them down. And then as they come down, you can lift all 10 toes up. And anchor your feet, yeah. Okay, now you're welcome to keep the toes lifted or put them down. You're gonna lift your hips up just a little bit off the floor. And then you're gonna to start to swing your hips side to side, like you're on a you know, pelvic hammock is what I call it. So you can feel your feet are kind of in there and you're swinging your hips and you can, your eyes are closed. You can imagine that, oh, it just looks so awesome. 
and you're just swinging. And at the same time as you do this, my friends, notice if you're holding your glutes. So there's a little bit of extra there. Can you drop the glutes and swing side to side? So you might even lift one hip up and the other. Good. And then we're not gonna come down, you're gonna pause. So you hold the hips up and they're off the floor and it might just be like a couple inches. See if you can drop your glutes. So you have to use the feet. You push the feet down just to hold the hips and then can I let go of my glutes? It's hard to let go. Oh, okay. Toes on the floor. Heart says it's easier to release the glutes. So release your glutes. Let them hang. Let them hang. They think, ah, oh, can I just let that go? Let that go. And you're going to know if you did it because as you come down so slow, if it feels like you're landing on two cushy pillows, then you did release. So you feel that for yourself as you come down. Those are, <laughs> does it feel like? No, I didn't. You didn't get it? I didn't get it. Oh, okay. All right. Well, it's a half. Half. Okay. Good. Be here. Breathe. Okay. And then from here, we're going to bring the right knee into your chest. So if you still have your bolster on your left side, great. Hug the knee in. Extend the left leg long. Yes. And then we're going to keep the left hand on the right knee. The right arm will come out to the side. And you inhale. And as you exhale now, you turn and you bring this right shin. Turn your body. Your left leg is going to turn. So you're on the baby toe edge of your left foot, the left leg. And then you can set this right knee on a bolster or a blanket if that works. You know, if it feels like it's too much, make the floor higher. And then breathe here. And now you're welcome to put your thumb into your hip crease or just imagine it's there. <clears throat> See if you can extend that hip, the right hip, to the back of your mat. And then you're welcome to take the right arm up and alongside your ear and just extend in two directions and breathe. Okay. And then we're just putting in all this effort right now. You're extending, you're being here. And then I want you to keep the shape, but release all effort. So whatever you need to do, soften, adjust, just be here as if you're like sleeping in this. And softening, dropping the belly. Remember when you had your, leg, your knees into your chest, I said as soon as the belly starts to drop, that's when the pose begins. So you can really soften yourself here as if you're just receiving, renewing, releasing. Tension from your jaw, let it go. It's really dropping in. And allowing the breath now to move through all of this. Everything you've released now, you've created space for the breath. Take one more inhale and really release it. Full exhale. And then you can roll yourself back onto your back. If you want to hug the knee in for a moment, you can do that. And you can also just stretch your legs out. You might windshield wiper if you need to release. Adjust yourself and just feel as you rest that <clears throat> you are here. And, okay, if you use the bolster blanket, roll it across your body, place it on the right side. And then as you're ready, you'll bring the left knee into your chest. And then opposite, interlace your fingers. It's a good brain gym. Soften your shoulders. Feel this all here. And then the right hand stays on the knee. Left arm comes out. And as you exhale, twist over to the right. The right leg has to turn. It has to move. It might need to adjust you. So that's all good. Prop up underneath the knee. So you bring the floor close and make the floor higher. And then the settling in, whatever that is for you. 
Okay, and then feeling that left hip crease, you're gonna extend it down to the back of your mat and the left arm might come up and alongside your ear and you have this line. Now you're opening and extending and you're working within the confines of the pose. You're finding space. And so breathing into that space you have created. And then as you're ready, you're just going to soften in. You release all effort. Sometimes that can be more effort. It's like, oh, wait. As I start to drop in, oh, I feel my this start to tighten or tension come in. That's the work. And really dropping in and allowing the pose to shape the pathway of the breath. And just releasing what you can, your belly, dropping it down. Taking a few more breaths here, scanning yourself. Oh, where am I? Where's tension creeping in? The jaw, furrowing the brow, these little places. And then release as you're ready. Come back onto your back and you might hug the knee in, you might windshield wiper, you might stretch the legs out. You invite movement in and then invite stillness in and feel. Okay, and now I'm gonna have you bend your knees again. So non-dominant legs, always good practice to bend the non-dominant leg first. Both feet to the floor. And then we're gonna keep the right foot on the floor, bring the left knee into your chest and cross the left ankle over the right knee. Yes, okay. Now I know you have maybe a bolster on the left side, maybe you have something on the right. You're gonna open your arms out to the side and we're just gonna rock this package side to side. So as you twist to the right, the sole of the left foot comes down. And as you twist to the left, maybe the left knee comes down. The right foot is driving. So articulate your foot in a way that you feel like, oh, this foot is, is doing all the driving. It's anchoring down to do the lifting and the dropping. And as you do that, smile so you're not bringing in any extra tension. Good. Yes, and we'll just do one more. So you finish off on the left side and then you can come back to your center. And from your center here, we're gonna keep this exactly as it is. You're just gonna move the left knee and now you can take your hand and hold it or you can just move the left knee. So as you inhale, maybe you open the knee out and as you exhale, you bring it in and across. So the right foot stays on the floor and the left knee is just moving in and out. So you can use your hand to drive it or you just be there. And just honor your hips, honor the work it's doing here, the opening and the closing. And you are the receiver. Good. Uh, let's do one more, full in and out. And then we're just gonna hang out in, with nothing to do. The sole of the right foot is on the floor. Release the left knee and left hip. So keep it, the, the ankle over the knee, but just kind of let that drop wherever it wants to go. And breathe. And then we'll move in to thread the needle. So you'll bring the right thigh into your chest and interlace your fingers behind the right thigh. So they actually go like, when the left hand goes in between the triangle, the right hand goes behind. And you can hold the back of the thigh. Some of you might even hold the shin. You be in a place, my friend. And if you need something underneath your head, sometimes that happens here too. Yes, roll your ankles and be with your breath. Good. And then feel free, my friends, if you want to rock side to side or in and out, you know, all movement, good movement. Especially when we do things on our back. So, you know, the back's not taking any extra tension. 
good. Yes, and then just bring yourself into some place of stillness. And you might even move this package a little bit to the right so you find a place of more discomfort. And then smile, breathe, soften, whatever you can. Shoulder, you kind of work your way down. Can I soften the back of my head, my shoulders, the back of my heart, and maybe the belly? And then we'll release the hand, but we're going to catch this leg baby. So the left hand grabs the knee and the right hand grabs around the ankle or the sole of the foot. You bring it in. Some of you might stretch your right leg straight here. You might keep it bent. And we'll just rock this baby in and out. Just releasing your hips. And then we're going to take half happy baby. So we let the left knee come to the outside. And the left hand is in the inside of the knee. The left arm is the inside of the knee and the hand holds the baby toe edge of the foot. And then you lift the sole of the foot up to the sky. And if you still have your leg bent, that's totally fine. You can just drop it over. If you have the leg stretched, that's up to you. Breathe here. Let your jaw go. If this is a place of discomfort, you smile and go, okay. I got this, I'm breathing in, good, and then exhale and release, and you can let the foot come down, you can stretch the legs out, you can windshield wiper, just take a few moments to just feel and be whatever you choose. Good. And then from here, we'll bend, if your knees or legs are straight, bend them. Bring the right knee in and cross the right ankle over your left knee. Good. And then your arms open and we come to this side to side action. So it's a twist and you let the left foot do the driving. Just feel like, oh yeah, it's doing the driving. And just moving side to side. And breathing and being. Yeah. Just coming back to your center and then just being here. Once you come back up, just be here. Let the knee kind of drop as it wants and the foot is on the floor. And... and then we'll bring it in for thread the needle. So opposite interlace your fingers once you get behind the thigh or on top of the shin or wherever it is you're going. Something under your head if you need it. You might tuck your chin in a little bit more and, and then you can start to rock side to side or in and out or whatever feels good here. Just opening. And if you have the left foot on the floor and you feel something happening there already, that's great. Good. Okay. And then we're going to rock it into stillness. So just coming to a place where you can just release, be here. Let the pose do the work as you drop in with your breath, with the belly. If you can, the belly's the hardest one here to release, but just go, okay, I'm here. Good. Okay, and then we'll release this and you're gonna catch your right leg, baby. So the right hand holds the knee, the left hand holds around the ankle or the sole of the foot, you flex the foot and then start to rock this in and out. Good. Whatever you're doing is great. Good. Okay, and we're gonna rock it into half happy baby. So the right, left leg can be bent or, or straight. The right arm comes to the inside of the knee and we catch hold of the baby toe edge of the foot. Then we breathe here. Whatever you've got, if the knee is bent, great. You know, so it gives you more access. You can even start to maybe drop the left knee a little bit out to the left just to counterbalance. Otherwise, feeling into your hip crease, your breath, softening what you can. And, and then releasing and coming back to whatever you need to do in the intern just to brush it off or rest in and feel. 
So our next pose will be Baddha Konasana. And that's what we did at the beginning with the soles of the feet together. So you can hug the knees in first if you wish, or bend the knees and feet on the floor and then drop the knees out to the side, soles of the feet together. You can slide your bolster underneath between your hips and your heels if you wish. So some support. Maybe blankets underneath your knees. And you might even rock a little bit like we did, you know, we did this at the beginning, we did some rocking. So feeling whatever it is for you, if that feels nice. And then I'm just gonna have you rest in Baddha Konasana for a few moments. So make it nice, whatever you need. Do you need anything? Okay. So. Yeah. And then just start to be here. So I'll let your jaw go. You can even take your hands and give yourself a little jaw massage because you know, the jaw bone, I've said many times, mimics the hip bones. So if we can soften our jaw, release the tension from the jaw, from the breath, from the stroke even, you can even stroke your throat a couple times. You know that. We'll maybe start to release you a little bit more deeper. Okay, softening. Any place you can. You know, if you've had a lot today or a lot going on, then you might even do a few of these nice exhaling breaths. And just as you're here, just notice, can I soften? from the back of the head and just follow all the way down your back to your hips. You know, your hands might move into your hip crease if that needs a little of your healing touch. You can add that in. All right, so when we go into this leg position with the soles of the feet together, knees open, we open the pelvic floor, we open the low back, we open the breath. It's a great healing pose. Good. Okay. Dropping in. Good. And then from here, I'm gonna have you um, bring your knees together, soles of the feet to the floor. And if you had your bolster there, we're just gonna elevate the hips. So you can throw your bolster or, oh, you got one there, or a block, if you like, underneath your sacrum, as we do. And if you're not sure, you know, this is something new, then you can, whatever you have, it could be a rolled up blanket or anything, just lifting your hips up so that you have something low like where the sacrum is, is between the hip bones and it's not on the spine. And you just have this little lift here and I know you like to play, you're welcome to play or else just be here. This is a very grounding pose. You know, we elevate the hips, we elevate the heart. Do you have a sore there? Oh, no, my butt's uh, Oh, good. <laughs> and then the head is, is released. You know, the head is below the heart below the hips, that's not the way it generally is. And so you can just be in this. We offer the head some heaviness and, oh, I love it. Whatever you're doing is fab. <laughs> Resting, moving is all fine. Just whatever you need. Okay, so remember at the very beginning when I had you with the feet on the floor and the knees were together and I said just rock your knees one in front of the, like as if you're moving your knees one past the other. So a little bit of moving here too is just a nice little back release and you might like that or not, you can play with that. Good. Okay, and then you'll take your time here. Our next pose is Shavasana. And so you're welcome to be on your block for a little bit longer, or if you come out and you need a little bit more back, then you might hug the knees in or extend the legs over your head for a little bit. Whatever you need, you offer it to yourself and you're in the comfort of your home. So you have everything you need there. And if you wanna do legs up the wall or legs on your couch, all good and if you want to sit in meditation 
for the next seven minutes or so with me, you're welcome to do that too. So honor your practice. Ask yourself, what do I need right now? What do I need right now? And then, you know, whether you have the answer or not, sometimes it's like, okay, I just need to lie here. I need to hug my knees in. I need to do a downward dog. I've been on my back. <laughs> Whatever it is, you know, throw it in and honor that. It's the greatest gift. You know, it's the ultimate self-care. Yes, beautiful. Great. You know, move with your dog and lift your leg up or bend your, if you bend your knees a lot, you send the butt back. It's a nice little stretch, whatever you need to do. I see legs over the head, beautiful. Yes, that's a great back release. All of that. Beauty. Love it. If you need a little bit more brain softening, you can always take your hands and just lightly tap or circle your third eye. An eye pillow is also really nice to help you drop in. Let your hands be open and relaxed. Open hands, open breath, open heart. Receiving the support beneath you, releasing your breath, your tension, or any stress you're carrying. Softening your third eye space, your jaw, your shoulders.
just being with your breath. with your stress and your anxiety and your joy and releasing into all of that. Same, same. I shed habits that hinder my truth. I release and renew. I welcome clear vision and inspired action. And you're welcome to stay in your rest. It's a great gift we give ourselves and a proper shavasana is about 20 minutes. But, but if you feel ready to start to move and just inviting that in with your fingers, your wrists, or maybe your ankles, your toes, just as we open practice, just by turning and receiving. Any movements you need, you can take, otherwise stretching your arms over your head, and bending your knees, placing the feet on the earth, and you might hug your knees in, you might even lift your hips up. Eventually you'll make your way onto your side and just resting in the fetal position. Until you feel ready to bring yourself up to seated. So it's a nice slow process to honor whatever it is that has arisen, has come up, has been released. And as you come up, if you wish to take mudra with me, just going to interlace the last three fingers, touch the pads of the index, pads of the thumbs together, and just hold this in here in this version of a yoni mudra. And inhale, lengthen, and as you exhale, bow your chin, take your heart space back. Breathing here. Good. Staying as you are, as you inhale, and you release your breath through your mouth as you exhale. And then we'll bring this mudra up, and as it comes up, the thumb kind of fits into the index fingers, and we take this along the third eye space. Just hold in here, press in with your thumbs, drop your head, drop your shoulders. And then inhale. And as you exhale, we'll take the hands down to the heart and you can bring the palms together as we do into Anjali Mudra. So press the thumbs into your heart space. Inhale, lengthen here and exhale, bow your chin as you honor all that you've done. Inhale, grow tall, and exhale here, and we'll join together in our May We Be Blessed mantra. Inhale. May we be blessed with loving kindness. May we be well. May we be peaceful and at ease. May we be healthy. And we'll seal that with one ohm together, my friends. Inhale. Oh. Bow your chin, Om Shanti, Om Peace, Om Namaste. Bless yourself. Take an inhale and exhale into your hands. Catch your breath, lift your chin, open your eyes, and Namaste, my loves. Namaste. Good. I hope that was restful and lovely and hippie and you're here. Yes. 
Thank you so much, you guys. And so I will see some of you tomorrow. Yay. I'm going to stop the recording.